Hey, my name is Connor, and today I'm going to show you how you can create lightning quick calendars for company earnings season and for micro data. This is going to be a super quick video because doing this stuff in Coifin takes a matter of seconds. Over here on the left hand side, you have the analytics section. And this is going to allow you to create instant calendars for indices, ETF constituents, and watch list. And it's also going to allow you to plot macro calendars as well. Jumping into the earnings calendar, the first thing you're going to see here is this table of companies as well as some forward estimate data. And you'll see it up here is filtered for the S&P 500. So we'll go over the basics of what this page is showing first. Up here on the left-hand side, you're gonna be able to pick from a bunch of major indices that we give you. So you could look up the NASDAQ 100 earnings calendar if you wanted to, or the S&P or the Russell. You can also choose from ETFs as well. And what this is gonna do is pull those constituents and create a dedicated calendar for that ETF. Or you can also rely on the watch list that you've created as well. So if I've replicated my portfolio in Coifin, I could simply click this portfolio button and it's going to give me a calendar for those companies. Up here on the right, you have the currency selector. So I have it currently set to US dollar because I'm looking at an S&P earnings calendar. You can also change this to Japanese yen or another currency if you want, and it will do that conversion for you. If I hit the manage button here, we have a comprehensive list of other currencies that you can choose from as well. And lastly, up here on the right hand side, you have settings, which will allow you to do many things, one of which is change the denomination from millions to billions. You can also choose to hide or show select columns for forward estimate data. And you can also change the level of detail for the estimates data as well. Something to note here about the perspective of the earnings calendar, if you're looking on a forward basis, so here we have the S&P over the next 90 days. I'd probably go ahead here and show the detailed estimates data and we're going to break out all those fundamental numbers and show you the highs and the lows and the number of covering analysts. If we want to go on a trailing basis, so let's say the last 90 days, we're going to break out those same numbers, but we'll also show you the actual versus consensus and the percentage of surprise as well. So that was the earnings calendar, very intuitive, simple and quick to do. Just to recap, this allows you to pull out an immediate earnings calendar for an index. You can also pick an ETF as well. So here is the XLE ETF for the energy sector in the US. Immediately, I just have all those energy companies lined up in an earnings calendar. And you can also pick from a watch list that you're creating in Coifin as well. Moving on to the economic calendar, this one is even simpler. The basis of what we're showing you here is we're breaking out all the macro data that we pull into Coifin across a time series. And we allow you to filter that between different countries. So right now I have the US selected. If I was to go ahead and add the UK to this one, it would populate those in there as well. I could also deselect these two countries and then select show all countries. And we can just have a, an infinite calendar of macro data for all the countries that we track here on Coifin. You can edit this and create the kind of view that you want. A useful feature on the economic calendar is the time zone selector down here. So I'm based in the UK and I've selected the London time zone. This means that all of these dates and timings are going to populate relative to the UK. So all of these widgets are interactive as well. So if I'm looking uh, for Thursday, for example, here's an initial jobless claims in the US. It will show me the consensus number, the previous number, and when the actual number comes in, we'll populate that as well. But if I click on this, we're going to relay that same data and give you a chart. If you click open graph, we're going to take you to the G chart in Coifin. You can now edit this chart and do whatever you want with it. Or like we showed you in the Coifin charting masterclass, you can also create a template for this, like I have done here, US initial claims, and you can view that data in the way that you want it. This chart, for example, incorporates initial claims in the US as well as the four week average. And then we also have the continuing claims as well. As always, I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me in the comments below this video or reach out to us on Twitter at Coifin Charts. Have a great day and build some earnings calendars.